morning and welcome to beautiful Queenstown Premium Outlets, a Simon Center, located at US 50 and 301 in the historic, beautiful town of Queenstown in the heart of Queen Anne's County, Maryland. I'm Patricia K. Hall. I'm the general manager. And on behalf of our retailers and our entire management team, um, including my very new director of marketing and business development, Lisa Gardner. Good. Yes, Good. nice Good. round of applause. She started on Monday doing a fantastic job. Uh, we offer a warm welcome to Comptroller Peter Franco, Mr. Jeffrey Zelmer, Legislative Director of the Maryland Retailers Association, and all of our esteemed guests. Thank you for coming to support and to help promote the 2015 Shop Maryland Tax-Free Week. Simon Premium Outlets are some of the most iconic and productive shopping destinations distinguished by their offering of exceptional brands at extraordinary savings. In fact, on any typical day here at Queenstown Premium Outlets, our guests will find 25 to 65 percent savings. And from August 9th through August 15th, during the Shop Maryland Tax-Free Week, there's an even greater incentive to visit and shop with us. Queenstown Premium Outlets is owned and managed by Simon Property Group. Simon is the global leader in retail real estate and an S&P 100 company. Our industry leading retail properties and investments across North America, Europe, and Asia provide shopping experiences for millions of customers every day and generate billions in revenue annually. Queenstown Premium Outlets is a driving force in the economics for Queen Anne's County and we look forward to Shop Maryland Tax-Free Week as a way to help develop new relationships with customers who may typically shop in nearby tax-free states or elsewhere so that they can better understand and appreciate the shopping experience at our center. We offer a solid mix of upscale retailers with names like St. John, Kate Spade, Michael Kors, and Polar Ralph Lauren, and that's just to name a few. Moreover, our shoppers tell us that the in-store customer experience that they have here at Queenstown Premium Outlets is, so, is far superior to any experience that they have at the competition. The slogan for Queenstown Premium Outlets and all premium outlets is it's shopping that is always worth the trip. And I must say that the re recent reduction in the bridge toll and the upcoming tax-free week certainly help our slogan ring even more true. So to elaborate on the importance of Maryland's tax-free week, please join me in welcoming Maryland State Comptroller Peter Francho to the podium. Thank yeah. you. Stay here for a minute. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going to... Uh, because of that wonderful introduction, Patricia, I'm going to give you one of my much coveted Comptroller medallions. Oh, thank yep. you. I give these to Marylanders who make a difference. I and, heard uh, about these. This outlet is a uh, absolute gem. We count on you to do well. Hey, I'm the tax collector, so go make some money. <laughs> yeah. Thank no, you so much. Thank you very much for what you do for me. Oh, so very proud. Thank and you. And Lisa, you got big shoes to fill, so uh, <laughs> make sure you. Uh, Get out and do uh, the promotion of this wonderful outlet. It's really a, obviously it's an economic goalpost for the state. I'm delighted that uh, Mr. Bucky has joined us and uh, uh, maybe we'll get him to say a few words. And Laura Cook is the Register of Wills and does a wonderful job uh, for everybody here. And I'm really pleased that uh, Andy Harris's office is represented by Denise, uh, means a lot. And also, uh, George Palumbo, Plum, George Plumbo, is it Pumbo? Pumbo? George, I want you to come up and say a word in a minute. Uh, this is an extraordinary uh, event in Maryland because we're traditionally viewed by the neighboring states as a high tax, uh, highly regulated state. So whenever we do a tax-free shopping week, uh, I particularly enjoy coming over here and checking out the Delaware license plates. Uh, warms my heart to and up in Hagerstown, I come and check out the Pennsylvania uh, license plates. 
So it's really a brilliant uh, marketing initiative to jumpstart the uh, consumer spending economy that we have that right now is stagnant and in the dog days of August it becomes even more stagnant. So the idea of having a week where the 6% sales tax is forgiven on clothes and footwear makes a lot of sense uh, because it gets the consumers engaged again. And we don't have a lack of money in Maryland, we just have a lack of confidence right now in the economy. And once consumers get out and shop for something that is uh, tax-free, and then they see other 60% markdowns and other things added on by these great stores, they open up their wallets and they spend money, and that's good. Uh, you know, 70% of our state GDP comes from consumer spending. So this week uh, has proven to be enormously popular. Uh, it's been around since 2007, and uh, I kid the legislature. I say, if you touch this and try to take it away, we're going to march on Annapolis. And, uh, but they understand that it's be become a very important jumpstart to the fall shopping season. And uh, whatever sales tax revenue we lose as a result of this week, we make up in the increased shopping. So it's, it's kind of a winner of an idea. And Governor Hogan, who I have a very positive relationship with, was commenting to the Board of Public Works yesterday that, tongue in cheek, he said, Mr. Comptroller, can't we make this year round? I said, no, we can't, because that's a little too far, Governor, but they might choose to expand it, broaden it a little bit, include some more items, uh, because it's proven to be so uh, important uh, to uh, getting people back in the swim of things as far as uh, shopping, and it carries over obviously into September, October, November, then we're into the very important Christmas season. So it's a great uh, week. I'm delighted that uh, local officials have joined us. I'm very pleased Jeff Zelmer from the Maryland Retailers Association is here because the big stores like Adidas, they need the traffic. The small stores, the mom and pop stores, they desperately need the uh, consumer spending and uh, patron, patron, their patrons to come in and support them. And uh, we try to say to folks, we love the internet, you can't avoid it, but get the heck off the internet and come down and shop local. Jeff, come on up and say a word. Thank you for being here. Thank you, sir. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Jeff Zelmer. I'm Vice President of Government Relations for the Maryland Retailers Association. We're here today. We want to thank uh, Comptroller Francho for the effort he's put forward on this issue of Tax-Free Week. He's been very, very adamant about it. He's He's gone for the past years since he's been in the Comptroller's office. He's participated during each season that we have it. Uh, it was a tough battle to get through. It, it, when we first got it in, there was only two states at that time that had it, Florida, and then we got ours it, it, uh, as, the, as the second state to have a tax-free week. Uh, I'd also like to thank Pat for letting us come over here at Queenstown uh, to use their facilities here. And uh, like Comptroller Franchot said, it is a gem right here in the county. Uh, as you can see, Laura, she look, look at how good she looks right, right, out, of, out, right out of here. <laughs> uh, the, uh, what this does for the uh, retailer, big and small, it increases from the chain stores down to the little mom and pops. It increases their business. And their business usually grows anywhere from six to 12% due to tax-free week. And we think it's, it's, it's a very vital cause, especially the economy is still flat. Uh, and this is a jump start on it. And we're glad that, uh, once again, that Comptroller Francho has taken this bull by the horns and is, is taking it on through. We thank you very much, Peter, and uh, 
We thank you for coming out today, folks. Thank you. Jeff, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Fabulous. Have a seat. Okay. Jeff Selmer and I go back many, many years, and uh, thank you for those eloquent remarks. And uh, I wonder if uh, Commissioner uh, Bucky and uh, Register uh, Cook could come up and uh, George Plumbo come up and say a few words. Go ahead. Thank you, Peter. Yep. So I'd like to thank Peter for this is a great marketing tool for the state of Maryland and as well for Queen Anne's County. A lot of people don't realize that the Prime Outlets is probably Queen Anne's County's number one employer as a whole, if it was a whole. And I want to thank everybody else for coming out here today and please come out this week and spend, especially shop here at the Prime Outlets. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Laura, please. Hi, I'm Lauren Ann Cook, Register of Wills here, and I, on a personal level, I have to say that the outlets have saved me more times than I can count. Um, I am currently head to toe uh, dressed with their clothing, um, and I can't speak enough about the customer service that you do receive at the stores here. Um, and I want to thank Controller Francho for this opportunity. I will be here next week, probably every day, <laughs> and I hope others will follow, so thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, that's such a uh, George? Thank everybody for coming out. We're always uh, happy when we get honored guests like uh, Comptroller Francho and the other dignitaries to come to Queenstown and enjoy our hospitality. Uh, we're glad to be part of uh, the Queenstown outlets and provide the services and, and uh, enjoy the people who do come to Queenstown and love visitors so hopefully people will come out spend their money here and uh, help the state help our uh, outlet malls help the people that work in our uh, small town thank you very much george thank you very much thank you. and i'd like to uh, close by thanking debbie birch with queen anne's uh, tourism and faith uh, elliot rossing department of community affairs oh i forgot denise oh geez come on up denise I talked to Bet the congressman. She's the best dressed one of all of us, so come on up. I talked to the congressman this morning in preparation for this, and so he has a few words that he'd like to Good. share with everybody. Go ahead. Okay. I apologize. Okay. Um, I did talk to the congressman, and he said that this temporary tax relief will certainly help the fam hardworking families of Maryland, and the congressman appreciates that the state of Maryland recognizes that lowering taxes stimulates the economy, and that's good for the 1st Congressional District as well as all of Maryland. So. Thank Fabulous. You. you give him a great comment. I uh, appreciate Congressman Harris uh, sending uh, Denise, and it's uh, very welcome. And I, wa I just want to thank the register. Uh, she's got my vote because uh, she shops local, and uh, I like that. So, um, And obviously, uh, ba Robert, Bucky, we really appreciate your leadership. And uh, George, keep up the good I work. I locally too. All my suits are over here at Charles A. Banks. I know, but you don't. Yeah, absolutely. You don't look as good as a register. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm only kidding. It's all I'm only kidding. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all very much. I guess we're going to go, uh, Barbara, to. Good. Terrific. Thanks very much. Yeah,